Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is Wednesday. It is October 11th. We're moving right through October, much quicker than we I thought we would. You're going to notice I'm in um, a tank top. It's not hot out. It's only in the, the upper 60s, so it's, I think it's like 63 degrees. But I'm starting to paint the trim, and you're going to notice that all of the tape now is off the the trim and I thought I'd do something a little bit different first off I'm gonna back up a minute the video that you guys saw that posted on Wednesday I had mentioned I was getting the COVID booster on Tuesday well Tuesday ended up being I meant to say Thursday so tomorrow is going to be the COVID booster shot shot day for me and I'm going to take Thursday and Friday off so I can get through whatever that booster throws at me. So there will be no new videos filmed Thursday or Friday. So what I basically am doing, oh, and I did actually install the new switch. I reinstalled it and I did just a basic, I, my electrician said just get a basic flip switch. So if I go like that, you'll notice that that light goes off. And if I press it up, you won't really see this because you're too too angled and my arms are too short. But if I press this up, that goes back up. So that's the new feature. That plug actually now works. It's done. I have lights in the kitchen. Yay me. I am going to cover the ceiling for the time being because my dear friend Keith and Martha are their names. Keith is the electrician. Martha is, is the uh Martha is the instigator because she's one of my closest friends but he's gonna come back once everything is settled down with his surgery and stuff and then we'll we'll take a look at what we need to do with the ceiling fan and how he wants to do it if he wants to do it where there's no wires visible it's drywalled and it's, it's flush against the ceiling so that I don't have the gaps we'll we'll do that so that's something that held you in good time in due time. The kitchen will be, you might see open work for a little bit of time until that happens. So anyway, I decided I'm going to try something and knowing me, it's not going to work, but rather than do the whole outside or just do the outside in the dark blue, I'm going to do the light blue on the inside just to give the windows a little bit of di dimension. So we're going to do that today, and I'm going to be using a small brush. Well, I might actually start with this big, this big brush and see how this goes. And I'm just going to go, I'm just going to see if I like this. If I don't like this, then we know we'll go in a different direction. Now, these windows have been very, very horribly neglected for the last, I don't know how many years, but for a long time. So, this may not be perfect, and you know what? In a perfect world, I would have a beautiful kitchen, but this is not a perfect world, so we're going to get what, we, what we're going to do. I'm going to kind of show you guys how this is going to look in a second here. And today is not actually going to be a very, very long um, film day. I'm just going to do kind of highlights and start. Now, I have not done anything when it comes to the hutch. I will start doing that probably... If I fill up to it, I'll do it probably Friday because tomorrow I need to do my hair. So this is what I was thinking is doing the light blue for the inside of, of the frame and doing the dark blue just on the outside so that you have a two-dimensional um, window on how it looks. And then, of course, like I said, I'm going to put the second coat of paint on here so that that, that part will be light blue the light blue that'll match the walls and then the dark blue will go around the window trim. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, actually, 
let me know what your opinions are. It's, it probably won't matter what your opinions are because once I do it, I can't change it. So that's my way of thinking. And I'm like, when these are windows in my kitchen that I do look out of when I'm doing dishes or, or stuff, but this is not like the heavily area that I really focus with the sink and stuff when I do the videos. You guys are more on the island side and with the new lights and everything, it should look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the window today. I am going to get the trim done also today. That's going to get its first coat. I'll go back and see if I actually do need to do a second coat with that in spots because I may only do one coat for the inside of the window instead of doing two thick coats, but I'm going to see how it looks. So anyway, like I said, this was going to be a really, really fast video for today. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys have all been great with comments and stuff. Keep them coming. It's getting ready to rain. We're starting to cloud up now, although the sun is still out. It is thickening. We're supposed to get rain for the next five days, so it's going to be hit or miss if I do any videos this weekend. But I will be excited to see what the hutch looks like in the kitchen, so I will be doing a video of that. So, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button to get more great videos from me, Joel, in the kitchen. This has just been a remodeling update for you guys. I'll see you on the next uh, kitchen remodel update video. Stay tuned because we're getting closer to being done with the kitchen. Okay, hi all. Welcome to my kitchen. Sorry, Edward is barking. He's been barking for the last half an hour. I just finished up doing all of the trim work with the first coat. So this is what the new windows are going to look like. It's still wet. The inside is a lighter blue that will match the walls. And I'm going to show you that indeed I did all of the walls. And I even did the outside of the uh, sliding glass door. Now I did mention in earlier videos, and unfortunately you're in my hands, so I, you're at an uh, The door itself is going to have to stay its current color. There's no way I can actually paint that, and I think at some point that'll get replaced with probably a wood, a natural wood door that we can either paint our own color or we can stain whatever color we want. And that will be done. But the kitchen is coming along beautifully. I really like the paint paint uh, styles that I did, and you can see that this has di dimension. I'm gonna point it out. That's a lighter blue. Oop, wait, hold on. I need to figure out which way my my hands should go. Maybe that I should move this. Okay, so the inside. So this part right there is a light blue, and that's a darker blue, and that's that's trim. So I just wanted you guys to see. The kitchen, I probably am going to have to do at least one more coat around the windows. I'm going to see how it dries today. I'm going to leave it alone, see how it dries. I did do the uh, wood trim for for um, what goes the baseboards, but I definitely am going to have to do another coat on these. And unfortunately, it's gotten so cloudy that it looks like it is going to rain. So I'll do that. I'll do that later on. So thanks again for tuning in. This was just a sneak peek. The kitchen is, is almost, almost done. It just needs, we need to finish painting the painting and um, I need to build the hutch. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on the next remodeling project with Joel. Okay, I know I said I was gonna close up the video uh, for the day, but I figured I'd come back. I was editing it and pardon my, got a little water on it. When I was editing the video for for uh, Thursday that you're going to see on Thursday and you're seeing right now, I noticed that the windows were horribly filthy. So I decided I was going to Windex them and actually now you guys can actually see through the windows and bring you guys over so that they are spotless windows now. Sort of. Yeah, there, there's a little bit of stuff still on it that I need to do, but I did all of these windows and I'm not gonna 
gross you guys out with uh, with what was um, on the uh, paper towel, but uh, I'll put it to you this way. 20 years of smoking equals a lot of yellow. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for tuning in again. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Joel video.